G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. I'm coming to you all the way from the land down under in Brisbane, Australia. Guys, first of all, I have to say I'm terribly, terribly sorry. It's been a long time between reaction videos. I'm guessing I've just been so busy with the kids, being a mum, with work, with all that stuff. But guys, I so much appreciate all the suggestions you guys keep on putting through Discord. I have so many amazing reaction videos on the way. This is the first of a three-part series of Amsterdam Hidden Gems. We're going to focus on Prince Island first. So really excited to see about this place. Let's just get into it. I'm excited. And yes, welcome back. Hi to you all. Let's go. In this video, you'll see one of Amsterdam's most beautiful hidden places of the city. Prince Island. Oh. I just love it so much. Bikes, water, bridges, buildings, just beautiful scenery everywhere. At a 20 minutes walk from Central Station are the three western islands. The islands were created between 1611 and 1615 oh my gosh. and were at first called the Front, Middle and Back Island, okay. but eventually renamed into Bickers Island, mm -hmm. Prince Island, and Ralen Island. Now the other two islands we're covering, guys. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Prince Island. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at Prince Island. Oh my God. Look at the structure of the building. So beautiful, so mesmerizing. Prince Island, which was at first called Middle Island, is probably named after the first three princes of Orange. Okay. The family of Orange is to this day still the royal family of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Just... <laughs> so beautiful. So incredible. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Since half of the 17th century, Prince Island was intended for the storage of wood. What? And for approximately <laughs> 20 years, also for the processing and storage of tar. Okay. Since 1644, the tar business was handled across the island. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just look at the beautiful buildings and how the windows open up like that onto the canals, onto the beautiful man-made canals. Man, in Australia, you just couldn't do it. You couldn't buy that sort of stuff. I mean, I guess you could if you had like a trillion dollars. Oh, this is incredible. And it's your everyday life, man. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> it's a gem, man. Absolutely. 100%. Prince Island is a hidden gem. I'm loving it. I'm falling in love with it. The windows. I love how the windows open up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the bikes everywhere. Oh, wow. Just the gift that keeps on giving, man. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at the boats. I just can't believe the boats just sit there, man. I'm just... The island is connected by three bridges. Okay. In my opinion, the Slow to Dyke Bridge is the best way to enter the island upon your first arrival. Wow. <laughs> Are they sturdy? <laughs> I know they would be, but my gosh. On the north oh. side of the island is the Tree Herrings Bridge, oh. which connects Prince Island to Ralen Island. You ride your bike This over? is the number three bridge in the top ten bridges. Tree okay. Herrings Bridge. Ah, oh, it's in the fish. Okay. I'm loving this channel, guys. This content is awesome. The third bridge is the Gallows Bridge, which is connecting the Prince Island to the Bickers Island. Okay. The name of this bridge and the street connected to it, Gallows Street, sound a bit sinister. <laughs> in the olden times, you would be able to see the gallows at the other side of the water, in which is now Amsterdam North. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just so beautiful. Oh, 
guys, I have to say again, I'm so sorry. Um, these videos that we're going to be watching, they've been suggested to me by viewers still. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, Peter J, Renee, I think there's somebody else. You know who you are. Guys, your suggestions, man, they are incredible. Thanks for keeping them going when I know I've been away for a while. But yeah, I'm loving this video so much. It's just absolutely incredible. In Australia, we don't see things like this, man. You just don't. You see cars, you see traffic lights, you see congestion. You don't see beautiful canals and boats and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of year old buildings. Maybe not thousands, but yeah. So this is absolutely incredible. What a beautiful country and a beautiful gem Prince Island is. Absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Until after World War II, hardly anyone lived on Prince Island. Oh. It was mainly used for storage. Okay. From the 900 storage houses in Amsterdam, more than a hundred were located over here. What were they storing there? How could you not want After to live the there? War, the island was rediscovered by artists. Oh, okay, yep, that Since explains then, some things. it still attracts many people with an artistic background. Mm -hmm. Now, it is one of Amsterdam's most prestigious neighborhoods to live in. Does that mean expensive? Prestigious? Does that mean expensive? It looks beautiful. It, it's absolutely incredible. The windows, how they open up like that, man. So beautiful. How could you not want to live there? <laughs> what do we have here? Is it like a little kid's digger or something? Okay. <laughs> Look at all the rundown bikes everywhere. Oh. The old signs, the old buildings. Oh, we do the shoe thing here in Australia. Yep, that's something we do here. Old paintings. Just, oh, have a look at that. How high is that building? My gosh. <laughs> and I hope someone's just going to come and pick up that rubbish, yeah? What? Oh. Just so amazing. Most of these buildings are divided in multiple apartments okay. or split due to the fact that these were storage houses okay, and obviously what was quite being huge. stored in these houses, guys. In the comments, if you know, let me know. I'm and really fascinated of them became by that. National monuments. Oh, I can see that. A national that, monument yeah. is a building that is of national importance mm -hmm. due to its cultural historical value. Oh yeah, for sure. The government protects these monuments in the aim of preserving their monumental value. Mm -hmm. Living in a monument mostly means that you're not allowed to make big changes. Oh, no way, man. To, for example, yeah. the structure out and inside the building. Mm -hmm. Like breaking walls, getting double layered glass, oh, okay. or new window frames. Mm -hmm. So pretty much you've got to stain it as it is. And that's really, really cool, man. Otherwise, you're going to lose it. It's going to lose its historical relevance and beauty. <laughs> what is this little thing here? Is this a toilet? I, I, what was that? <laughs> oh, okay. It was named after Emma. That's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just have a look at it all. <sighs> so cool, man. This is a public tropical garden, which is quite rare to see in Amsterdam. A public tropical garden in Amsterdam. That's cool. What sort of plants and stuff are growing here? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Oh, it's actually quite beautiful, isn't it? Oh, wow. You could have a nice little picnic there. Absolutely incredible. Oh. What's... There seems to be like a lot of rubbish and leftover stuff there from what? 20, 30, maybe 100 years ago? Not quite too sure. But it looks Nelson beautiful. Nelson Mandela's vegetable garden. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty cool. 
When was that painted? Very cool. Here we go. Thank you for watching <laughs> and see you in the next one. Absolutely. Can't wait for the next one, guys. That's the first one. The first of three. So, yep, yeah, that was a really cool video. Guys, that was an awesome video. Like I said, I'm sorry at the start. It's been a while, but I'm back with three really, really cool videos. Hidden gems, learning all about Amsterdam. Fantastic. Guys, have you been to Prince Island? Have you lived there? Do you know people who live there? Share your comments about this beautiful island. It just looks absolutely incredible. Like I said, in Australia, we're young in terms of the Netherlands and Amsterdam. We don't have buildings that are hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of years old. Not really. And to have people living in them, that's really, really cool. Absolutely incredible. Okay, that was the video for today. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Also, thanks so much to my viewers on Discord, still leaving their recommendations and suggestions. Absolutely incredible. Okay, cheers to that under. Take care. Bye.